it shouldn't surprise um, uh, anyone that um, uh, I find myself sitting here with two good friends uh, of long standing. For me, the journal has that added benefit of uh, giving an excuse to talk to people that I want to talk to, uh, at, perhaps maybe more regularly than I otherwise would be disciplined enough to do. And that is a huge dividend um, that maybe I hadn't fully appreciated uh, when we started, but I certainly do now. And I want to thank both of you for the contributions you. that uh, you've made to the, to, to the journal. Uh, it's been a, a real privilege and a pleasure to, to, to work with the both of you. Well, I, I reciprocate that, Jeff. And I, for me personally, involvement in this journal has been an expansion of the people with whom I interact. I've always interacted with colleagues in other law firms, uh, not just in this country, but across borders. Uh, I've interacted with people within banks. But I haven't had uh, extensive interaction with people from academia. I haven't had extensive interaction with people from the bar, for example, the advocates. And I, I think that one of, this, one of the things this journal has done for me is to expand the horizon of the people with whom I have had interaction. And it's broadened my horizons considerably. And I hope that what's happened to me, we can reflect through the pages of the journal and we can allow it to happen to other people. Yeah, I think that, that you both touched on the aspect of it that is most attractive to me as well, which is that the connection to people who I normally don't talk to, but whose views are extremely important in my work, but also just they're important because they give me knowledge about the world that I don't get anywhere else. A, a level of depth in terms of their understandings of what's going on. So for example, our conversation earlier about capital controls. I can't re get that from the pages of the Financial Times, good though it may be, or the Wall Street Journal, but we could get it in our conversation and hopefully in our articles. And I think that's what I'm ho hoping for. And that would be exciting if we're ahead of the curve on something like what happened in Cyprus. We're ahead of the curve more often than not. Well, hopefully that'll all serve as a, an encouragement it's intended to be to anybody who might be looking in on this discussion uh, to join the network. Because I think uh, uh, the, the, the more the merrier, but also uh, the more the better in terms of um, uh, the collective wisdom we can bring to bear on these, these issues.